In today's video, I wanna share with you guys what I think is the perfect camera for a beginner filmmaker. Now, before I give you the reasons why I think this camera is perfect for a beginner, I gotta give you guys some context into how I came up with these conclusions. I think the first challenge that a beginner filmmaker faces when they're choosing what camera to buy is money. Because when you're first starting out, you're not doing photography or filmmaking as a full-time job, meaning there's not a lot of excess money to purchase gear. I remember when my brother Maddie and I started getting into photography and filmmaking, we were buying cameras, lenses, sliders, and at some point we were like, dang, we probably gotta make some money off of this gear in order to pay it off. So it's a real challenge when you're starting out because you're not making yet money from your craft, but you need to invest in gear. And the second challenge is that you quickly outgrow your gear. As you get better as a photographer and videographer, you realize all of a sudden that your camera isn't serving your purposes. It's not good enough for what you need. An example of this would be buying a camera without interchangeable lenses and you're quickly realizing like, dang, I need to get different focal lengths in order to shoot the content that I want, and then all of a sudden you need to upgrade to a new camera that you can change lenses on. So as a beginner filmmaker, you wanna make sure that the camera you invest in is gonna fit your budget, but as well it's gonna last you as long as possible, because cameras aren't cheap. All right, I've left you guys in suspense long enough. Do you guys wanna know what I think is the perfect camera for a beginner filmmaker? I think the perfect camera is the Sony FX30. This camera was released just yesterday and I feel like it didn't get the attention or hype that it deserves. Because in my opinion, there are three solid reasons why I think this is the perfect camera for a beginner filmmaker. Now, reason number one why this is a great camera for a beginner filmmaker is that it's an affordable camera. The price for the FX30 is only $17.99 US dollars, which might at first sound like a lot if you are a beginner filmmaker getting into this world, but when you compare it to the other cameras in the cinema line, for example, it's Big Brother, the FX3, at a price of $3,899, or the Sony FX6 at $6,000, or the Sony Venice 2 at $54,000, all of a sudden, $17.99 sounds like nothing. And for that price, you're getting a lot of professional features in the FX30, which we're gonna talk about in point number three, but before that, we're gonna get to point number two, which is the fact that an APS-C camera like the FX30 has a very affordable lenses. Because when you're a beginner filmmaker, the second problem you're gonna face is investing in your lenses. Because there's no point in buying a high quality camera, but then having the basic kit lens. That would be like driving a Ferrari in the first gear. If you're gonna invest in a high quality professional mirrorless camera, you wanna make sure that you have good lenses to go with it. And if you compare the prices between, for example, the 11 millimeter 1.8, which is great for vlogging, at only $550 compared to the 1635G Master, which I vlog with on the Sony a7S III, that goes for $2,200. So you're getting lenses a lot cheaper for the FX30 compared to other full frame cameras and a bonus, they're a lot smaller too. And last but not least, you're getting a lot of the same cinema camera features in the Sony FX30 as its big brother, the FX3. This camera can shoot 4K, 120 frames per second. You can do 240 frames per second at 1080. You got 10 bit color. We have the five axis IBIS. We have cinema looks like the Cinema S Cine Tone. Super fast, reliable autofocus, and we have that flip LCD screen that we love for vlogging. Pretty much the only feature that the Sony FX30 doesn't have is that it's not a full frame camera, but all the other cinema camera features you're pretty much getting in the Sony FX30 for a very affordable price. I mean, come on, just look at the footage that I got from the Sony FX30 on my trip out to Eastern Finland shooting wild bears. If you haven't checked out that vlog yet, I'm gonna link it right here for you to enjoy. Yeah.